So we have finally got up to the Topaz tier. As you can see, we managed to hit 40K on the team average power, which is pretty good. All we did to get up to that was get Darius Garling, who we managed to pull, I think, out of one of the draft picks. We got him and I upgraded him up to three stars, as you can see, um, by just basically getting up my pink diamond cards to two stars and then upgrading him bit by bit till we got him up. And then, of course, training him up to 42,792. He's looking pretty good. I don't think he's as good as my Damian Lillard, just because Dame is just ridiculous at shooting threes and i'll probably make a video on dame because i did manage to max out his three pointer which is just absolutely nuts but aside from that we did manage to get donovan mitchell from the rim rockers promo we got Rui hachimura from the actual year of the rabbit promo which is going on at the moment go bears still in the team but it is looking pretty good obviously we did upgrade hachimura up to three stars and got him up to level 45 which has definitely helped us quite a lot in getting up to that power rating to unlock the topaz tier which is really fun to see and of course we're going to go through a tourney and try and get our first topaz player to get up to the next one is going to be a bit of a tough one to get up to. Jade is 55k, which is going to be a bit tricky. But in the King of the Court event, hopefully I can go ahead and get myself this Tyrese Maxi, who's looking pretty good over there. I don't think I'd be able to get Carl Anthony Towns. So never say never. I might be able to get some of the Year of the Rabbit collectibles. And of course, we'll have to wait and see exactly what else is in store for that promo. And I am really liking the look of the actual Press Your Dunk pack. So I might have to open that on stream because I will be trying to stream a couple of times. I haven't streamed in absolutely ages. So I'll probably see on stream how lucky I get with that pack i don't want to waste all my coins in one go on one of those packs but you know what we're going to go through the topaz tourney in the first round hopefully get the win on game number four and of course get ourselves our first topaz player hopefully it's a good one if it is a steph curry or a damian lillard or even a chris paul i think he's pretty good at shooting threes that'd be absolutely insane but obviously i've got no control over who we get as long as we get a good player that's all that matters with this game but hopefully we can win the tip off and we do with rudy gobert who's still on the lineup somehow I haven't found a way to get rid of him at the moment if i got carl anthony towns he would definitely go but i doubt that is going to be possible garland's just going to miss that shot over there i think he's from one of the previous halloween promos or halloween events but i did get extremely lucky in getting him i was quite surprised with how high his rating actually went up with it probably was pretty good when that promo came out i'm guessing i could be completely wrong about that i haven't been playing the game long enough to know what that was like but we get the green release on the three pointer and he is going to sink that one really nicely of course last video we did manage to do some insane dunks with i think that nance jr but he has sort of found his way out of the lineup as we sort of replaced him with with other players as well. I think Rui Hachimura did replace him in terms of power rating. I haven't decided to use him to upgrade anyone just yet. I think I'd probably keep him. Donovan Mitchell over there for three is just going to miss that one, but go Bears getting the rebound, get the green release, and he is going to finish that one off. But yeah, I did manage to max out Dame's three pointer, and that just makes him absolutely nuts. So expect a video on that pretty soon, which is going to be really fun. Some of the shots he was knocking down are absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully, we can get the steal though. We're just going to knock it out of bounds over there. But if we can get the win, that means we get our Topaz card, and I'll probably try and get through all of the topaz tourneys just so then i can maybe get a lot closer to getting up to jade i doubt all the tourneys would put me up into a good enough position to get all the way up to jade because it didn't do that for the dark matter tourneys with all of those cards but if i can get a little bit closer to jade that'd be pretty good and of course now that i'm at topaz it's going to help with the next event because i'll get better rewards on that one hachimura for three and he is going to knock that one down because obviously i did reach topaz tier after the event actually started so on the next event i will be getting those topaz rewards which are pretty good and of course we just can and keep grinding till we get up to at the moment now the top one's amber so the closer we can get to that the better and then we get better and better rewards with some of these events we'll chuck it all the way up to rudy gobert and he's got a bit of space over here i'll say that and he's just got guarded pretty heavily but we're going for three with hachimura and he's going to knock that one out he's pretty good at the catch and shoot threes yes he's pretty much wide open on that shot but he is still pretty decent obviously you need to get a dunk with michael jordan which i could just go back and do to try and get myself some more of the dark matter rings to help myself out and trying to craft some players and all of that stuff but i am still working out a exactly what cards I should be trying to craft. So let me know in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions in how I can improve my team, improve the way I'm playing, all of that stuff. Any advice is welcome. We get the steal and we'll run it up the court with Donovan Mitchell. He's going to come through with the layup and he's unfortunately going to miss that one over there. But we get the rebound with Hachimura. Let's dish it out to Mitchell and he's going to knock down the two-pointer, missing the layup, but making the easy two-pointer over there, which is all good. And we get the steal again with Darius Garling. So let's run it up the court with him and let's try and get a dunk if we can. He goes up for the dunk and of course he is going to finish that one off pretty well on the dunk nothing too fancy or anything like that we'll try and do some fancy dunks with donovan mitchell of course being from the rim rockers promo he should have some pretty decent dunks on him got garland over here wide open for free poor release on my part but he's gonna knock that one down maybe he's not that bad at shooting three pointers we'll shoot the three pointer with garland is really far out but he's gonna knock that one down he's actually pretty good at knocking down the three pointers better than i actually thought he would be but i think it's the off balance ones he's not as good at obviously that one's sort of just standing and shooting we get the steal though so let's run up the court we'll do an 
off balance three over here. It's a poor release on my part. He is still going to knock that one down. Maybe he is a secret gem when it comes to three point shooting. Although watch me say that and then him just miss the next three three pointers in a row. We can't have that if he does. So let's try and do it again if we can. So we get the rebound there with go best. Let's find Garland. We'll try a trickier shot. We'll set the pick and roll and see whether he can find a bit more space to get his three off. Gobert's going to set the screen over there. We've got a bit of space. Let's shoot the three pointer. It's a decent release. Unfortunately, he is going to miss that one. I think Dane would have made that one, but it is still a very tricky shot to make. So I'm not too surprised that he did miss that one, but we're going to try that a couple more times, see if he can make a couple. And we get the steal that time with Johnson. You've got Donovan Mitchell running up the court. That was the chance to maybe get a dunk off with him, but he got stopped. We'll shoot the two with Garland, who's unfortunately going to miss that one. We get the rebound though. Let's dish it back out to him for three, and he's going to miss that one again. But we get the rebound with Johnson, and he's just going to miss that one, unfortunately. I thought that was going to go in off of that rebound, but unfortunately, he just about misses it. We got Garland running up the court this time. Let's go in for the two points. It's a poor release, but he is going to knock that one down. 16 points for him in the game, which is pretty solid. Donovan Mitchell, he's got so much space over here. Let's go in for the two pointer. He's going to, of course, sink that one. We got Johnson over here on the two pointer, and he's going to sink that one. Let's get the three pointer off with Donovan Mitchell. It's a green release, and he is going to sink that one. Yeah, we got Donovan Mitchell over there for the three pointer. Unfortunately, he's just going to miss that one. If that had gone in, that would have been an insane shot, but unfortunately, he does miss that one. They're going to play it in to get the layup off, and they're going to miss it. We get the rebound there with Gobert, so let's find Donovan Mitchell. We'll run it up the court with him. Got Hachimura on there for two, and unfortunately, he's just going to miss that one. That should have probably gone in with a decent release, but I think it was because he was off the dribble with that shot a little bit. We almost get the steal there with Darius Garland. Can we get the steal, though, with Mitchell? And we do get called on the reaching foul. I need to stop doing that because I always end up doing that whenever I'm on defense. I always get called on that reaching foul. So that's maybe something I need to fix with my gameplay in trying to get the steal instead of getting called on the reaching foul. Garland's got a ton of space over here. We get the green release on the three and he is going to sink it. I think we need some dunks to get ourselves some more draft picks with this tourney. So let's try and find someone close to the paint. We've got Johnson who's going to go in for the layup. He's just going to get blocked there by Brandon Ingram. We get the steal though with Donovan Mitchell. So let's run it up the court with him and try and go in for a good dunk. He's going to come through with that one-handed slam. Achimura is going to pick up the steal over there. So let's run it up the court with him. He's going to come through with the two-handed slam off of the steal. We get another steal that time. I don't know who that was, but let's find Garland. He's going to come through with the layup. And unfortunately, he's just going to miss that one. We got Johnson over there. He's going to come through with the layup. Again, he's getting blocked. We got Mitchell, though, getting the rebound. So let's dish it out to Garland for three. And he's going to sink that three-pointer. Lovely shot off of the catch and shoot. Gobert's going to pick up the rebound. We're going to try and go on the fast break. So let's get Hachimura up there. He's going to get the layup off. And he is going to make that one, even with the dodgy release. We got Garland on the catch and shoot three. And unfortunately, he is just going to miss that one. If he had made that, that would have been absolutely ridiculous. But it was a pretty poor release on my part. And they're going to miss the layup over there. So let's run it up the court if we can. We'll find Gobert. He'll run it up the court. Who have we got to play it to? we got Garland over here for two. It's a decent release. And he is going to sink that one over there. Got Hachimura there on the right-hand side on the catch and shoot three. But unfortunately, he is going to miss that one. Probably because of my poor release. we got seven seconds left on the clock. We're going to try and shoot a buzzer beater three with Garland over here. So let's run in if we can find a bit of space. We get the three-pointer off and he is going to sink it at the buzzer on the off-balance three. What a nice shot. Garland's going to pick up the steal over there. So let's go in for a three-pointer and he's going to knock that one. That was an absolutely horrendous release on my part, but he still manages to knock it down being wide open. And we get the steal again with Gobert. So let's run it up the court with him. We'll play over to Donovan Mitchell. He's going to get stopped a bit. We got someone out there for three. Hachimura on the green release and he is going to sink that one. What a lovely back-to-back -back play. Got Garland running up the court again. We're going to find a bit of space. We're going for the three-pointer. Good release. And again, he's going to make that three-pointer. Why is my bench looking so upset by that three-pointer? That was a really good shot. We get the steal again over there. So let's run up the court with Gobert. We'll find Hachimura. He's going to come through with the layup. I thought he was going to do it and not stunk over there, but I think he just bailed out on that one halfway through. And unfortunately, we do miss the layup. So we got 11.6 seconds to try and get another buzzer beater three if we can. We'll do it this time with Donovan Mitchell to see how good he is at the buzzer. The clock is running down a little bit. We'll get the three off it's a decent release and he's gonna sink that one as well what a nice three-pointer two for two on those buzzer beaters got garland over here we'll try and do some dribble moves to get around our man and unfortunately we just lose the ball the first time i try and do dribble moves and we lose the ball we get the block over there on the other end but they're still gonna manage to find a way to get the shot off with valentunis we're gonna get the rebound there with gobert and we got mitchell running up the court we'll get the three off it's a green release and he is gonna splash that three-pointer 36 points in total for us which is pretty decent it's not the best I've done. I've certainly done a lot better, but it is still decent nonetheless. And we're holding on to this lead in the final quarter. We've got Mitchell over there in the paint and he's going to get the layup off and he's going to make it.
make it. 8.5 seconds left on the clock. I think we have to give it back to Garland over here to see if he can knock down the final buzzer beater three to end off the game. It's a poor release. And unfortunately, he is just going to miss that one. I think two's enough for a game in terms of buzzer beater threes. But we do go ahead and win that fourth quarter. We're going to see what we get on the draft picks. We've got 16 to go through. Hopefully, we can get something good. And it is just going to be more of the pump up stuff. We do get a standard gear key, though, which is pretty decent. But here we go. What are we going to get out of our first Topaz Tawny reward? It's going to be a Tyus Jones over there. Hopefully, I'm saying that right at the point guard spot. Just after we've upgraded Darius Garland to 42K. He is, though, 44K, which is a massive improvement. And if we train him up, he's going to go up to 47,468 power, which is really good. Or we'll equip the shoe on him as well, which is pretty decent. So 47K, that is an improvement. I'm still tempted to go down to Damian Lillard because he is absolutely ridiculous. And with that shoe, you can see his three-pointer is completely maxed out. I'll try and have a video out on him a little bit later on. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. But at the moment, we got the Tyus Jones. We're going to keep grinding through the Topaz Tawnies to see exactly what we can pull. And of course, we're going to try and get up to the J tier to unlock the next set of rewards. Let me know in the comment section down below what your teams are looking like so far at the moment. Are they really good? Are you at Obsidian tier, Amber tier? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like the video, then make sure you drop a like. And if you want to try and get yourself some free coins in 2K Mobile to open up some insane packs, go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner. I went through the easiest ways for you to be able to get yourself free coins in 2K Mobile. So go check out that video and I'll see you guys in that one. Peace.